So we're just going to show off um, our new knives that we've designed. Um, and feel free to th throw any questions. But also just some simple things that we can do with spices and our oil range. Um, the olive oil and dookie you've just tried uh, that uh, Heath is handing out. But uh, one of the other things that we do is uh, I've got two restaurants in Tokyo. Uh, and I learned a lot about knives, um, about knives and uh, sashimi, raw fish, sushi and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to do a few little things up for you to try. First one being um, some raw sash kingfish sashimi. This is South Australian kingfish. The best you can get, high oil content, so really good for, for sashimi. And I'm going to do it with a bit of olive oil and um, Cajun spice. Then I'm going to do some more with a beautiful soy ginger dressing. And then I'm going to cook some. Incredible, with the spice. All in one day, exactly. And you can see, really important guys with the, these knives, or any knife really, but these are the, a, a great knife, that um, your knife is sharp. And um, so many people use blunt knives at home. And when they do, you're putting so much pressure on to cut something um, that it's re more dangerous than a sharp knife because the, a blunt knife gives a deeper, um, nastier cut, where a sharp knife gives a cleaner cut, but no one would cut themselves using our knives anyway, because they're just so precise. Um, so, a little pinch of salt on the raw seafood, and then a splash of this amazing Cajun spice. And you can, you'll see with all the spices that we're doing, or any, most cooking things that we're doing today, you can, um, early enough I think. We drizzle that with a bit of olive oil, extra virgin. Do we have any more olive oil here? Yep. Thank you. Amazing garlic oil, incredible. A uh, little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And we'll get you to try these as well. Someone's going to follow with a little plate. Thank you. Please, this is amazing, trust me. You've got, no? No, okay, good. It's not that bad, really. Thank you. No, please, right there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so that was, um, that was the, raw kingfish obviously and now what I'm going to do is um, plate plate show you the versatility of the spice and just cut little strips of kingfish we're going to get some toothpicks for this uh, Erica if you can please And we're just going to marinate the kingfish in a little bit of garlic oil. Good idea, Heath. We always do, uh, when we're pouring oil, we always pour from up high. Do you know why? It looks good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and then the salt, we do the same because it looks good too. And then we get the Cajun spice. What I'm trying to do here is just get you to see the difference cooking with spices and having spices raw as well. Um, so the fish, heaps of spice, treat it sort of like a seasoning and you can do this with little strips of lamb or something like that. Smell it down. Beautiful garlic coming out of the pan, thank you Heath. Yes, sometimes if you haven't got the right utensils, our knives are very versatile, you can use them as a little spatula and help you mix things. They're not just uh, for cutting. And you just marinate that in there. Then, nice hot pan. And Eric has got some, you got some toothpicks ready? Beautiful. I hope you like garlic. So we're going to do some um, dukkha chicken afterwards as well. Uh, and you can actually, with the dukkha, 
You can actually cook fish in as well and meat. Wow, that's hot, isn't it? Hey, thanks. Yeah, hot water. Wow, great. Thank you. I'm not a fan of these rubber tongs. So you go back to the versatility of the Luke Mangan knife blade and use that as a spatula as well. Just take that off the heat and it continues to cook. We've got the big pan on for the chicken. Just move that across. I bought my first knife, uh, expensive knife in Tokyo about 15 years ago and it was made out of the Japanese steel. The fiddly air, just get your fingers in there. There we go. Thank you so much. Oops. Fiddly, good fiddly. Would you like to try some? Thank you very much. Thank you. So you get the difference between the raw and the cooked. Gee, it's actually not bad. Came through. Mm. Thanks, Steve. See, the, si the spice is quite subtle uh, and works quite well. Now, we, I might do a little bit of raw with the ginger dressing as well. No, thanks for keeping up. So we'll need some fish and uh, spoon. So this is another uh, a, a dish we do. In fact, we were invited over to uh, Denmark a few years ago to cook for Princess Mary's little wedding banquet before the whole week. We actually flew over um, about 60 kilos of this uh, South Australian kingfish and we served it with mares. Mares used to come, I call them mares, mares and I like that. Uh, well, not anymore because she met Fred and, and things. But um, uh, mares used to come to our restaurant Salt in Darlinghurst when we first opened and uh, they asked me to come cook for their wedding banquet for the week in Denmark, which was great. And this was one, one of Mare's favorite dish, the sashimi with soy ginger dressing. Anyone can put them on the spoons at any time now. Thank you, so efficient, lovely. Um, and um, it's, it's a really amazing dish, I find, and one of our signature dishes and one of our most popular dishes. And you can just see the knife. This knife works really well. <laughs> it works really well. Slicing. And with knives, guys, do not put them in dishwashers. People put them in dishwashers. I hate that. Um, it's just a bit of warm, hot, soapy water is fine to wash knives. Can't go wrong there. And uh, as I said, it's one of our signature dishes. I think this, this recipe is in the Salt Grill cookbook. I hope it is. If it's not, you'll have to buy the other book that it was in. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I'm joking. Uh, did we put salt on them? Yeah. Wow, amazing. What part of the fish is that? That's so, this, this actually is part of the belly, this part, yeah. um, which is the best for me. I think it's got the highest oil content uh, and it's just beautiful. Okay. For, for, no, not today, thanks. So you can put it with the eggplant if you're paying attention. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's a little plate, Eric is coming around with a plate, beautiful. A lot of mistakes blokes make on the barbie, I hate to say it, is they don't have the barbie hot enough. See how that pan's smoking? Really, really important. Um, thank you Heath, there's no salt. Shall I season them? Thanks Heath. Pinch of salt and really hot pan. We're just searing them basically. But you can do this with tandoori spice. We've got a great barbecue rub. I think it, Moroccan spice, curry spice. They're all sold here, I believe. But we're sold out today, I'm told. Is that right, Heath? Yeah. Sold out, Maybe. just in the last session. Wow. Incredible. Just a little pinch of salt on that side. Now, when you're cooking with, um, if spices or dukkha is staying in a pan, for over two minutes or so. You want to do it at the last minute. And uh, because, you know, the, these 
the dukkha and things like will we, we'll keep cooking and sort of burn. We don't want them to burn. Nice golden brown colour. And if we get that big can on again, Erica, and I'll do some eggplant. Uh, one thing I love doing at home as well, I always use this knife, I don't know why. Why would I use this knife? I just favour it. It just, it's light, it's easy to slice. They're all good, different, different things for different, but I just sort of tend to use a one knife. And, and, you know, and, and when I'm slicing vegetables and things like that, egg, eggplant is one vegetable I, I think people tend to stuff up a lot. I hate to say it, but uh, they do. And what I'm going to do with this eggplant, look at this chicken, beautiful, taking it off. I'm just going to throw in that dukkha now, at the last minute. You can do this with fish, lamb, duck, anything you like. And it's really important when you've got two assistants in the kitchen to make as much mess as possible. <laughs> really important. And you just throw that in the last minute, and that'll continue to cook. Beautiful. Now. Um, with the eggplant, it's on, good, yep. We're sort of going to shallow fry the eggplant. Quite a bit of oil. And what I like to do, just until those nuts and things go golden brown, Now you could do this eggplant with curry spice or Moroccan spice or barbecue spice. But what I will do, pinch of salt. I know the Greeks know how to cook uh, eggplant very well. I'm not Greek, obviously. But I'm just going to put um, some beautiful Cajun spice on these. And they don't take long, but once the spice hits the pan with the oil, it's really, really good. Are we, ser are we serving the chicken with toothpicks? Yeah, Wow, amazing. Thank you. I like to finish off, uh, when I'm cooking things at home as well, just get a bit of the oil, extra virgin oil, and just finish it off when it comes, there we go. Um, it just adds that nice richness to the dish, a few little drops. And, wow. Okay. I'll come back and put the eggplants in. Would you like to follow? Um, thank you, little one. Thank you, Eric is following. Thank you. Might be a little hot, so be careful. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. So, nice medium to hot pan with the oil. Put in the eggplant like this. We're just going to shallow fry them. Eggplants absorb a lot of oil. Salt again and spice on top. And you know what, I, can, I do a lot of my things on the barbie uh, at home with um, zucchini marinating in, in olive oil and fresh herbs, um, curry powder and things like that. And then um, it just works so well utilizing vegetables that way. And I think, you know, w with the knives, the beauty of the knives They're just uh, 
when we designed them, it was all about weight and all about, um, it's really important when you're cutting too, that it's a really sharp knife and you're always watching what you're doing. <laughs> uh, but, it's making sure there's no fingers, but the knives are just, it's so important when we're carving on it with a knife or slicing that you just let the knife roll with it. And there's, I'm hardly putting any pressure on that. The blade is so sharp, it's just slicing through it beautifully. Um, so many people get a knife and they're pushing or chopping like that. Not good, not good. Okay, we can see how these eggplants have come up beautifully. We've got some Greek people, I believe, in the room, so they can test these uh, eggplants to see if they're up to standard. Because I'd say that probably the best eggplant I've had is in Greece, apart from these. I do say so myself. We can just cut them up, guys, into little pieces, please. Quarters, yep. A bit of Persian feta on top. And what I'm going to do, and you, you know, so I do this a lot as well when I'm cooking veggies, sorry, okay? Using the same pan, you know, you've got the oil and spices, and sauteing them as well. I don't know about you guys, when I'm at home cooking, I just use the same pan all the time. You give it a quick wipe, or sometimes you don't have to wipe it out, and you can use the same spreads or oils and spices. Um, so fr from, you know, dukkha chicken, you can do lamb, fish, as I said. Um, and vegetables are just using curry spices or whatever we do. I use a lot of the spices at home where you know you might make a salad dressing. Um, you might heat the spice up in a bit of oil like that that you're using just to let all the flavors out in the spices um, and that really helps as well. So we've got these uh, Cajun spice eggplant with a little bit of Persian feta cheese. Incredible. We'd go down with a cold beer if anyone had one now. Feel free. No? Okay. Um, but it works very well. Exactly right. Do we have enough? You're going to do another. You think there's enough? I think so. Yes. Yeah, we have a lot more people here now. Let's try one. That's nice. Thank you. And we've got a little plate. Yes, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. So that's all about, uh, that's all we've got for you today. I like my carrots nice and crunchy. Feel free to come up and try them as well in the Cajun spice olive oil. Um, so the knives, are, I believe, are all here on sale. You can go feel them, touch them. Uh, feel free to come up and use them up here. Uh,